Hello, my name is Greg, and I dev stuff. Welcome to episode 42 of Vampire Survivor Slime Game in Unity. So we have a pool system for our projectiles and place, but we want to expand it to support more object types, and today we will introduce enemies into the object pool. There is a problem. Our enemies are composition of two different objects, like this. The sprite of the enemy, which is just a graphical representation of the enemy, is attached to the main enemy object. So our enemy in the pool will be combination of original prefab and the main parent object. So when we generate pool, we want to take into account the possibility of combining two objects. So in the pool manager, open pool object data and define a new field called container prefab. This field will be used to reference any object which is used as a container for our sprites, like our enemies. So when we generate pool, we want to take into account the possibility of combining two objects. So in the pool manager, open pool object data and define a new field called container prefab. So let's create pool object data for the bot. So create new instance of the data scriptable object. Then reference the bot sprite. Then we need to reference the container prefab for the enemy. Good. In pool manager we will change how we set up our new pools. Instead of just passing the original prefab, we will pass an entire pool object data. Store the reference to the pool object data on our pool. Now we can read the data from the scriptable object. And now when you instantiate a new object into pool, we want to check if the original pool data contains a container for our object. If it does, instantiate the container, make the container parent of our original object, and nullify local position of that object. This way we are attaching our newly created sprite of the enemy to the enemy object, which is responsible for functionality of enemy. Good. Now we need to utilize the objects from the pool. Make sure you set your pool ID to something new. Because it is our second pool, we will set it to B1 instead of 0. Each individual pool must have a new ID. Open enemy data, and instead of using reference to the game object prefab, we will be referencing the setting of the pool data. In the editor, let's fix issues we have created. The first one is inside the enemy script. We will just simply comment out the start method. Uh, it exists for testing purposes. We might bring it back later on. But for now it will not necessary. The 
The second one is inside enemies manager, which spawns enemies. And here we need to change our approach, to use the pool of enemies. So we don't need to instantiate sprites for the enemy anymore. And instead we want to pull the object from the object pool. So replace the enemy prefab reference with reference to the pool manager. Inside spawn enemy get the object from the pool. I don't like how our pool object data is called on our enemy to spawn. Let's rename it into pool object data. So instead of instantiating our enemy, we are getting the enemy object from the pool. Let's test this. Make sure your enemy data is referencing but enemy pool object data. Set the stage to spawn bunch of enemies after 5 seconds or whatever. Don't forget to reference pool manager. Let's test this. Something is off. Oh yes, the problem is we need to set up pooled object. We have the setup in the place for the projectiles. But our enemies are not projectiles, but still part of the pool. So to make it possible, let's make new interface. Add the interface to projectile. And inside the set pool member method, set up the pool member reference. And now you can generalize all the pool members by using this interface. Instead of explicitly interacting with projectile, you will use an interface. So every entity which is supposed to be a, a member of pool will have this interface, like our projectile and our enemy. So add an interface to the enemy. And set the reference of the pool member.
Good. And now inside the object pool, we are adding the pool member component, responsible for communication between pool and member of the pool, to the newly created object, which in the case of enemy, will be sprite instead of the object container. So to fix this, we will need to do this. By doing this we will ensure that the pool member component will be attached to the main object. If there is no container, it will be attached to the object instantiated from original prefab. If there is a container, it will be attached to this container. And we need to take into account the parenting of the object when we store the object into the pool. So you must store the reference to the main object into the pool. Let's test this. Set the throwing knife as our weapon. And increase the damage. Let's make our enemies move faster. Good. But right now we only spawn enemies. If we kill the enemy, it gets destroyed. So in the enemy script, If enemy pool is not null, we will return this enemy back to the pool, otherwise we will destroy it. With this, our pool system implementation is done. You will see how I am killing the enemy bots and after some time this enemy bots objects will be re reused. Next episode will be dedicated to redesigning all the objects into the pool system. We are done for tonight. This is it for this episode. Special thank you to this soul Hashdo. With best regards, see you in the next episode.